Hello everybody. Um, I'm having kind of a hard time and it's crazy because this is the day before your mom goes live and I'm trying to do all of this stuff for the campaign and trying to get like the podcast with Alice edited and put together but I've been in a lot of pain and basically what happened was so my knees messed up right we all know this tears and all sorts of stuff well because I've been favoring my knee so much I think I screwed my ankle up and this has happened a couple times over the last year where like I sprained my ankle favoring my knee so I sprained my ankle on my good leg okay what I'm worried about now is that I think I might have broken or fractured my ankle um usually it hurts like on the tissue around it you know and it swells up or whatever and then in a couple days it goes down and everything's fine i'm on day four now and it's still swollen now it's changing color it's like red and purple and the only part that it hurts when i touch is on the actual bone like the little nub of the bone that comes out you know so um i don't know i don't know what i'm gonna do i've been contemplating all day today of trying to like have an uber take me to the emergency room or something i'm like if i could just hold out a couple weeks you know and then i'll be at the doctor i'll be with the surgeon he could look at it and tell me what's going on and i'm just like that is so fucking stupid but that is the idea i have and it's not a good one. We all know this. I can't walk, I can't stand. Everything is kinda, I'm kind of not the best person to talk to right now. But the positive side is that since I live in a studio apartment, everything's kind of more narrow than it would normally be in a, another place. So I could lean on the counters, I could lean on door jams. Like if it wasn't for door jams right now, I don't know how the fuck I'd be getting around. <sighs> I can't put any fucking weight on either fucking leg. So I'm just like holding myself up all the fucking time. I just finished editing the, um, the podcast with Alice. I recorded a video about I can't remember what I've done fuck I just posted a poet vlog video that I edited like five days ago that I haven't put up yet because I've just been feeling like shit and um fuck dude wait did I put coffee in here no okay so I gotta stand so I'm putting more pressure on my knee because my ankle's so fucked and that's hurting my knee but it's nothing compared to the pain in my ankle and honestly this is so fucking dumb but like my ankle like the pain doesn't stop it's like like my knee hurts but if I'm not on my leg, or if I have my leg up, or whatever, and as long as nothing's pushing on parts of my knee, the pain will eventually subside, or at least lessen to where I'm used to it. And my ankle, like, I have not been sleeping well, I have not been able to fucking do anything, and it's just fucking killing me. I can't sit for too long. I can't stand for too long. And you'd think making instant coffee would be faster. <laughs> Fuck my life, dude. Oh my god. But I've lost another couple pounds, so that's cool. I thought the inactivity would have made it um, harder to lose weight, but apparently being in so much pain that getting up to go into the kitchen is kind of a bitch <laughs> makes you not eat as much. So, yay. Oh, fuck. And then yesterday, or no, it was like two days ago, I made a cup of tea 
and I was walking into the living room portion of my small apartment and I need to put this down. And I was trying to move this little table closer to the couch so when I sat down on it, I wouldn't have to like lean up and stretch to get the coffee or the tea. And so I'm, I put the fucking, oh shit. I put the tea on the fucking little table and then start moving the table. And I guess like my slipper, like my house slippers were just sticking out from under the couch. So when I put the table leg down on it, it like went like this and the tea went everywhere. And I'm like, fuck me, dude. I can't be doing this shit. So anyway, um, the things that are going on are I'm um, trying to get the crowdfunding campaign going. I sent a newsletter out today. I made the video for it. Um, and it's, it's technically supposed to launch at midnight tonight. I think I'm going to do a big thing for it Thursday which will be the second day of it but you know however you do it I don't know we'll figure this out So fun times, um, I was sitting here recording a video and somebody was trying to get into my apartment and like, it was like really, and like the knobs loose so I can hear it. Like it's, I made it loose. So if anyone tries to get in, I can hear. And it started off so slow and I'm like, what the fuck is that? But the deadbolt was locked but the bottom lock was not locked. And um, it was going for a minute and I kept looking, I'm like, am I hearing that? Like it was so minuscule. And then um, it kept going and kept going. And then finally, like, I don't know if they were pissed off or what, but like they just went ahead and turned it to try to like open it. And so I, I yelled something and I got up but my legs are all fucked up. So I'm like limping over to the door. By the time I got there, I heard like, you know, when like a delivery driver drops something off, they have that little thing and it goes beep, 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 beep. I heard something like that out in the hall. So, um, I don't know, like, but when I looked out there, nobody was there. So whatever, but Hey, living life in LA, right? So a couple things, one, my ankle is a lot better. I can stand on it. I can walk slowly. It's still a little swollen. Most of the discoloration is gone. It still kind of kills when I like put too much weight on it or anything, but I can stand up and the pain is so small compared to what it was that I could feel my knee hurting now on my other leg, which is nice, I guess. Um, but, wait, did I put coffee in there? Yeah. Okay. But there's a few things that I want to update, and it is. First off, um, I have not been to the post office in a week. So, um, or actually nine days. So if you've had an order in the last nine days, um, I haven't done it. I'm planning on like going back to the post office next week. So if that's okay, cool. If that's not okay and you would rather get a refund, let me know. And I completely understand. The other thing is, is that for some reason, the last bunch of shipments I sent out, 
They got everywhere they needed to get to except for the Northeast. I don't know why, but um, people who had orders from over in that direction did not receive their packages. So I will be sending um, new ones out when I go to the post office next week, and I will be adding extra shit in there for you um, for the fuck up. And you know what? You might end up getting the other package later. And if that's the case, then cool, because then you have two of something that you ordered, and you can hawk that on eBay or something if you want, you know, or give it to a friend or something. What else was there? Oh, there's um, the YouTube stuff. I'll probably do an extra video on this. But um, on March 10th, today is the 9th. So on March 10th, YouTube's new profanity stuff goes into effect. So a bunch of my videos that were restricted before might not be. I'm not, I guess I'm not gonna find out until tomorrow. But, um, so for those of you who've been annoyed at my bad, um, editing jobs, um, that won't be an issue anymore. I won't be doing that. But the thing I'm going to try to do, apparently every bad word you can say for the most part isn't really a bad word anymore unless it's the F word. And the F word isn't really a bad word <laughs> unless you say it in the first seven seconds of your video. After seven seconds, you could say it like a couple times, but if you say it a bunch of times through the video, that's not gonna work. And so there are parts of this video actually that I had to just cut out completely because I was stumbling around and in pain and I was dropping F-bombs like it was like World War Three, and I was in a B2, you know what I'm saying? So um, I'm sure like I will forget some and whatnot, but um, for the most part, the profanity, ad revenue, YouTube stuff seems that it's gonna be okay. Um, which is great because I was really freaking out about all this. I was like, what am I doing? And then like, it got to the point where I was like, do I have a problem? Like, should I see somebody about this? Like what's happening, you know? Oh, as far as your mom goes, um, we have four backers so far. Okay, so we are at $295 because I also have the, um, the other backer that didn't do it through Indiegogo. They just did it with me personally. I don't know what that percentage would be. I'm not good at percentages. I found that out recently when I was trying to do mental math and then I did something really stupid. One of the things that I've been doing the last, the last uh, week, is I listened to a podcast where this guy was talking about like what's better, formal poetry or free verse poetry. The stuff he said was so fucking insulting that I got really mad. I, I don't remember what episode it is, maybe 57 of my podcast. That was like the fifth time I recorded it because I just said a bunch of stuff. I want to tackle the issue and not attack him as a person. No matter what I did, I couldn't not attack him because I felt the way he talked about my type of poetry, I took that as a personal dig. And I realized it's because I'm an artist and he's not. So my art is my life and who I am and everything. Whereas to him, his craft is a hobby. You know what I'm saying? It, it was kind of difficult. So I think what I might do for the rest of this video is I might put in some little bits from that that aren't gonna make it into the podcast. 
So, uh, we'll, we'll see how that goes. I think this is a no-go. Like, I don't know what I can do. I have no idea what to do. It's very fucking alienating to, um, find people in a poetry community that I fucking appreciate as fucking human beings and really fucking care about and know that if I put this episode out that it's going to cause shit with people that I care about that hurts but again it's because an artist and a craftsman are not the same they're not the same craftsmen have no fucking clue what these feelings are like and like my crew my people you're gonna hear this and you're gonna know exactly what i'm talking about you're gonna fucking feel it and know it immediately but there's gonna be a whole group of people out there that just don't get it and they'll say things like oh well he he's taking this a little too personally like a little dramatic much right am i am I right you know um And maybe that'll drive them crazy that they don't understand. Or maybe they'll never fucking think about this again. Because they have to remember to get dryer sheets and detergent and cereal at the grocery store. You know? On top of everything else, this has been a really hard couple weeks for me. So I have a sprained ankle. um, So nothing's broke or fractured, which is good. And the doctor who just assumed that I had a blood clot because of the way I look. Um, Turns out I don't have a blood clot. I don't have thrombosis. I don't have um, venous whatever. Um, I just have a fucked up ankle. So um, the pain that I've been in physically the last um, couple weeks has been huge and um, when you go from being able to not being able to move it um, it fucks with you you know and I know Again, there's a lot of people out there who have it worse than I do. But I can only, like, react and respond from my own experiences, you know? And, like, when I wake up in the morning and I gotta fucking take a piss, but I can barely walk and I can't put any weight down on either leg... And I'm like, what, am I going to fucking be able to get to the bathroom before I just start pissing all over myself? Like, this is fucking ridiculous shit, you know? But, and it just makes me somebody who has always felt (laughs) that, um, like, if the world fucking ended today, I'd be alright because I would start murdering people and eating them. (laughs) To suddenly be the guy who's like, um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it to the bathroom. It fucks with your head, dude. It really fucking does. And um, because I've been in so much pain, like driving anywhere has been really difficult. And um, my family, because I live in... A scary part of the town. <laughs> no one in my family wants to come see me. And um, my kid still lives about an hour and a half, two hours away. And I can't um, be in a car that long. Or else when I get to wherever I'm going, I won't be able to straighten my legs out. And uh, um, then I'll just be a yapping, whiny fuck the whole time you know so um things have been on that front really really difficult for me um a lot so i didn't mean this to be like a super huge downer but um 
it's just been it's been a hard a hard go and I feel like getting back to this other thing as much as I want to tear this dude's podcast in half and tear his essay into shit like I don't know if he would be able to come back from that you know like as much as you don't think I'm a poet and you don't think I'm good with words and all this shit um I could cut a fucker with my words dude so um I just don't know I I like and like I was using this example for him on the other episode where I was like you know like you open this box and you will not be able to put this back in you know all of this stuff is now out and it will always be out the whole Pandora thing but now I think like if I do it like I'm gonna it's the same thing for me like I will say these things and never be able to put them back so I don't know I just don't know what to do. There's a difference between artists and craftsmen, and there's a difference between normal people and me. (laughs) (laughs) Fucking hell. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. And thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew or the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.